So if you want to know what it's like to live and play here in Riverland Terrace, we'll stick around to find out. What's up guys? It's Bill Olson here with ERA Wilder Realty and today we are going to be exploring one of Jane's Island's oldest neighborhoods, Riverland Terrace. But before we begin, if this is your first time here, go ahead and up, click that little subscribe button, ring that little bell. It will ensure that you get notified anytime I put out a new video all about what it's like to live, work, and play here in Charleston. And if you know me, you know it's no secret that I, I absolutely love making these videos to show you what it's like here in Charleston, one of my absolute most favorite places on earth. I am getting calls from people all over the world that have moved here to Charleston for me to help them. So if you're thinking of making the move here or you know move around the area, then give me a call, um, shoot me a text, email, whatever, throw up the smoke signals. I am here, I will take your call day or night to make sure that you are taken care of. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go grab my bike off the back of the car. We're gonna hit the road and we're gonna see Riverland Terrace. All right guys, so now that we got the bike down, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Riverland Terrace here. It is James Island's oldest planned neighborhood and it was started around 1925. Um, one of the biggest features of the neighborhood is as you're coming in, there is an avenue of oaks with over 70 oak trees that are assumed to be over 100 years old. It is absolutely gorgeous and it is a South Carolina scenic highway. Now, Riverland Terrace is located just about 10 minutes west of downtown Charleston. It is bordered by the Stono River and the Wapu Cut or Wapu Creek on two sides and then the Charleston Municipal Golf Course on the other. It is a very easily accessible neighborhood. A lot of people have golf carts or ride their bikes. And so let's head out. We're gonna jump on the bike, show you a little bit around, talk about the real estate. There's two parks in the neighborhood. So stay tuned. We're gonna visit both of those. So while riding around, I, I stumbled upon this house. It's one of the few homes for sale here in Riverland Terrace. Um, so I just wanted to stop, talk a little bit about the market, the style of homes that you're gonna find here. Um, it is a larger neighborhood. There are about 800 homes here um, total, and most of them are going to be, you know, a 1940s to 1960s bungalow cottage style, but you're gonna have a lot of newer homes mixed in, and with it bordering the deep water of the Stono River and the Wapu Cut, you do have some larger deep water homes. Um, with all that being said, year to date, the average sales price in Riverland Terrace is about $460,000. Um, so to know about what that would get you, this home behind me here is two bedrooms, two bathrooms, a little over 1,300 square feet, and it's currently listed at just under $400,000. But remember, get down on that deep water, you're looking at two or three million or more. And if you want a list of all the homes that are currently for sale here in Riverland Terrace, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a link down in the description. You can click that and see the current market. Yeah. If you remember, I said there were two parks here in Riverland Terrace. Well, I'm stopped at the first one, which is Medway Park which has a really cool feature. Right behind me here, you can see is a community garden. There are about 60 plots that can be leased to anyone to just come and plant things. And then there are 12 larger community plots and any vegetables that are harvested from there are donated directly to local food pantries to help those in need. So if you love gardening, give them a call, you know, grab a spot, come on down, water some plants, harvest some vegetables, help some people out. This is an amazing spot, an amazing sense of community right here in Riverland Terrace. All right, so we made it over here to the second park, which is Plymouth Park, 
which is one of my absolute favorite places to bring my kids here in Charleston. Um, not just because of this awesome swing set and play set that they have behind me, um, but the people in the neighborhood here, when their kids outgrow some of their toys, um, like their little tykes, cars, um, toy lawn mowers, play sets, um, they bring them here. And so other kids can enjoy them while they're here. So it's a great place to bring the kids. It's also right here along Wapu Creek, and there is a public boat landing. So if they get tired of the swing set, we can come down here, sit on a bench, watch the boats go by. You can usually see some dolphins swimming by as well. And the last part about this park is there's a fire station right here. So if you've got kids that absolutely love fire trucks, the firemen over here are the best. You can go over, they'll let them sit on the truck, take some pictures. Um, the kids absolutely love it. And it's right here on James Island. It's, it's free. It's free entertainment. Bring the kids here. Um, and then there's also a baseball field here as well. Another amazing thing about Riverland Terrace and its location is its proximity to this right here. This is Terrace Plaza, which is anchored by the Terrace Theater, a small independent movie theater that also sells beer and wine. This, this plaza is easily accessible by foot, bike, car, or even golf cart if you live in Riverland Terrace. You can come here, see a movie, grab some pizza or Mexican at either Crust or Zia. There's a great bourbon bar right here. There's Maybank Public House is next door, which has some great burgers. And then right across the street is the Poor House with live music seven nights a week. And every Sunday year round, you'll find the Sunday Brunch Farmer's Market where you'll have vendors, food, drinks, and music. All right guys, thanks so much for joining me on my tour of Riverland Terrace. If you liked this video, please, if you would, um, click the little like button and uh, drop a comment down there. Or if you have any questions about what else it's like to live here in Riverland Terrace, you know, if you drop them down there, I answer all comments personally, um, and I'll be more than happy to help you out there. And again, if you've ever thought of moving to the Charleston area, please give me a call. Um, again, my name is Bill Olson. I'm here at Wilder Realty, 843-580-8010, or shoot me an email, text, throw up the smoke signals. I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions, day or night, that you may have. Also, if you're thinking about relocating to the area and you like Riverland Terrace, again, there's a link down in the description below. Um, that's going to take you to show you everything that's currently for sale on the market in this neighborhood. So go ahead and click that, browse around, let me know if you have any questions. And there's also another link to my relocation guide to the whole Charleston area. So again, if you're thinking about relocating but you don't know where you want to move, that is a great place to start. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time. Bye. Subscribe button and the sun is really bright.